scary. What's up guys? It's Sarah. <laughs> What's up everyone? What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up everyone? Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hey everyone. What's up guys? I really need to think about this before I do this. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah. Um, I wanted to introduce myself since this will be the first video I'm posting. I go to the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Um. But I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and growing up, I always loved making videos, especially with my sisters. Charlotte, Rosina. <laughs> Welcome back to Tea Time with Sarah. Um, so I have like hundreds of videos. Video editing is something that I really enjoy. Um, and I'm a film major in school, at least right now. So I thought, might as well post the videos that I make. Also, I think this is something that really brings me joy and will be good for my mental health. And yeah, so in these videos, I'm probably just gonna do like vlog style, daily stuff, talk with you guys, especially um, for maybe younger audience, telling you what college life is like before you get there. Um, especially with COVID, which is really interesting. <laughs> Another fun fact about me, which I'll definitely tell you a lot about because this is an interesting dilemma to have in college, is I have a broken leg. Yeah, and let me tell you, crutching around campus is not fun. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how I broke my leg. Nobody cares, Sarah. Nobody cares. I wish the story behind me breaking my leg was cool, but it's not. I'm a skier. I have been my whole life. Um, my dad's from Canada. My mom, well, she moved around the country a lot, but they skied growing up, so then they taught me and my siblings how to ski growing up. And I love skiing. It's really fun. We'll go one or two times a winter. Um, but then moving here with ski hills so close by, I was super excited. I got new skis for Christmas, a helmet. I bought myself a ski pass, which are not cheap. And then the first day my, my family came to move me back into school, we went skiing together as a family and about halfway through the day, I was just going down and I wasn't doing anything cool, which I should just make it up and tell people that I was doing something sick, like double backflip. Anyways, oh, it's getting dark. Sun, come back please. So I was going down, I started going too fast, I fell, twisted my knee, which I don't know if you've ever twisted your knee before. Like, it felt like that, like, like just when you make it go the wrong way a little bit and it hurts really bad. It felt like that, but really bad. Um, and so I was laying in the snow and it definitely hurt, but after a little while I was like not moving and then I was like, okay, I'm fine. My whole family was there and they were waiting for me and they were like, are you okay? And I was like, I think so. I just need a minute. So after a minute, I tried to stand up and I could not stand up. And then my dad was like, we're gonna have to call the ski patrol. And oh my gosh, I started crying then because I was so embarrassed. I didn't want them to have to take me down on those little toboggans. If you've ever skied, you'll see they like wrap you up like a dead body, ski down. Yeah, they had to do that to me because I couldn't stand up. So they skied me down, wrapped up like a corpse, and then I got, and they have like a little clinic on the ski hill. I think most ski hills have this because people get injured pretty badly when skiing. This is like a common thing, which funny story, I'll tell you after. They took me into the clinic. They laid me down on one of the tables. There was a couple other people in there um, who had hurt themselves too. And then they told me that they had an x-ray machine 
in there, which was pretty cool, I thought. But they were like, we can do your x-rays here, um, but you don't have to, but you're going to have to get them done like in the city if you don't do them here. So I was like, sure, I'll just do them. Brought me in, took x-rays, and at that point, I saw my knee and it was like starting to really swell up. Um, and I definitely could not, it was hurting really bad then. I could not put any weight on it. They took me back. I had to wait a little while for them to look at the x-rays and I, meanwhile, so it definitely hurt, but like I barely fell. I was laying there and then the doctor came in and he was like, so you broke it in two places. You broke your, okay. I was thinking my knee, right? You broke your tibia in two places and you're gonna need surgery. And I was sitting there like, I didn't, I didn't even say anything to him because I was just shook. Um, because I thought they were gonna be like, oh, you'll be fine. You just like twisted something. You'll be fine in a week. Oh my gosh. At that point, I, my, I was able to call my parents and have them come in. And they gave me this brace that I have and told me to keep it perfectly straight um, and not put any weight on it until the surgery um, and stuff like that. And I cried when my mom came in because, think about this, I just moved back into school and now I had to go home because I had to get surgery. Um, and also, I had bought in the ski pass, skis, oh. It was very upsetting. Anyways, a week later, I got the surgery. I ended up doing it here because the University of Utah, like clinics and hospitals are so, uh, what's the word? Advanced, good. They've got good facilities. So they did the surgery. I'd end up breaking off a piece of the tibia. So they had to reattach that. And luckily I didn't tear my ACL, otherwise that would have been a much longer recovery, but they also had to reattach the ACL and the meniscus. Um, it's been about three, four weeks. Um, so I still can't walk on it, but I'm allowed to bend it, but I have to keep the brace on. <sighs> and crutches, I mean, I've gotten used to them. <laughs> I've gotten pretty good at them. But it's just hard carrying things. Um, getting food for yourself, getting to class, especially with such a big campus. Um, but I actually just moved into my new room yesterday. Very nice. I would love to do a room tour in another video. So this dorm is just much closer to food, to classes, to people that I know. So it'll be a lot easier to be here. Oh, and the funny story I wanted to tell you is the a couple days before that I had gone back to go skiing, I was hanging out with a couple friends, like saying goodbye before we left and stuff. Um, and me and one of my friends who ski was talking to our other friends who don't ski. And they were like, isn't skiing super dangerous? Like, don't people get really hurt? And my friend and I were like, no, you can't. You like, as long as you know your limits, you're not going to get hurt. Meanwhile... Now I can't walk for like a couple months. No, that's a lie, but it's gonna be a while. I just moved the camera a little bit so it might look a little different, but I wanted to say that I'm hoping to do more like vlog style videos, show everyone what college life is like during COVID, just take you on my broken leg journey to meet my friends. It'll be so fun. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do all that stuff. Thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I'm really just doing this because I love video editing. I love all this and I thought might as well I'll try to do more fun videos in the future, um, and yeah, thank you so much. Okay.
Look at me just staring at myself on the camera. 